This has never happened before. So what do you got there, Pa? Well, I got the capocollo. I got the prosciutto, coppola. It's like the capocollo. And I got a mortadella. Yeah, super sad. That one you was buying was super sad, right? Um, we make uh, Italian antipasto. This is antipasto we was make before they, uh, the Christmas day. The day before Christmas, it's all fish. And Christmas Day, we make a handy past. And over here, I want to show this. It's for Thanksgiving. Okay, everybody like handy past too. In Italy, we no use for Thanksgiving. But over here, we prepare already. And I want to show everybody what's for Thanksgiving to prepare. Yeah, okay, I got the mortadella. Capricol, salami, e soporsate, e prosciutto. Yeah, I can't figure it out. But um, at the bottom of the screen of the video, the bottom left, there should be something that says, be a part of the conversation. If you click that link, it'll take you to the video also, but you could um, leave comments there on the right. So, yeah, I can't figure out why it's not allowing comments at this point. Okay. Well, that kind of sucks. No work, huh? It's working, just the comments aren't working. Somebody want to leave some, set something? They can't. Tell, can't. They, tell what, what happened in the store when you went to buy this, all the cold coats. What happened? What happened? Yeah. Well, I was going to buy it today. Uh, when I was ordering the stuff, what I want, I want a super sad. It's a copper and a cup of coal, a pursuit. The girl, she started the, do the super sad and she chop the super sad look like I have make a, a chop meat like a meatball and I told her I said I'm not gonna make a meatball I want the super sad the core run not like you did it's all chop chop no that's what it come out I said listen you know told me maybe the blade of the machine it's a two dog you gotta use a different machine. No, it's the way it come. Somebody else they come in and say, What's wrong? I said, Look at the stuff that she gave it to me. And the, the super sad, he was chopped like my hair, like this, like a broom. I said, I don't, I don't like. She was a color for me. I said, I don't want. And she cut a different one and she gave it to me this time, like that. And the other one, I say, you can take a home and you eat yourself. <laughs> That's it. She said, oh, I'm too busy. Oh, I don't care. I pay for the stuff. I don't want the, the busy people that give it to me the stuff. I want the good stuff, not like you, you do the chat meat. <laughs> uh, somebody else, he was over there, he told me, he said, yeah, you're right. You pay for the stuff and you want like you like the have the stuff. And what do you do now? Hmm? Make sure it's good. <laughs> <laughs> See? Tell everything what you have over there, Pascal. How many times I gotta tell you? Are you working now? Yeah, it's 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 been on for it's five good. minutes. Okay. Now this is my jardiniera. I prepared by myself. The jardiniera, yeah, I got it right over here. Everybody can see my jardiniera. I got a roasted pepper, got roasted already, 
a pilofa é a prepara with the little garlic, parsley, and oil. And this is my roasted pepper. I prepare everything. How about your channel to uh, how to make roasted pepper? And I got over here ours green and black. Uh, this other one it's a different kind of the house over here. I prepare with the hot pepper, oil, and oregano. Over here, it's all my stuff I prepare too. I got eggplant, I put on a jar. Gets right over here. I got that chalk, I prepare, and I put on this kind of the jar. This it's my sausage, homemade sausage. And I got some mushroom. Now it's a good time to pick up this mushroom. It's called a hen of uh, of hen of the woods. And now it's a time. This you find. This you find in November. So you go in the woods. You find around the tree. And that kind of the tree. It's a oak tree. And you find this. One time we was going to the woods in New York. And I find one, it was like maybe 25 to 30 pounds. And I was taken with Joseph and I prepare. It's this one over here. And look at this. This is really good. And you prepare this, you gotta boil with uh, uh, water and vinegar. And you take it out and you leave it drain really good. One time you squeeze to take all the water out. You prepare with a hot pepper, oregano, and you put the black pepper too together, a oil, and you keep in the refrigerator. This and this it's really good stuff. That's good. Okay, now that is chalk over here. I want to put a little. Oregano. This is the oregano I prepared by myself. I prepared this here. And you put a little oregano like this. And I put a little oregano, fresh oregano for the heck plane. And the mushroom. And I put a little drop oil on the top. Okay, and I got over here, it's a pecorino cheese. If this, we put together everything with the capicolo, the soborsata, coppola, and mortadella, and prosciutto. If this, we cut the cheese, we cut a piece like that. And you cut and a half of this piece. And we make like a cube, like that. And we use inside it together with the pasta. And this cheese, it's really good too. Hmm? Mm -hmm. All right, we should get started. And the cheese, it goes really good with this too. Salute everybody. Hmm, good. Okay, now. Hi, Chef. Do you put that oregano out in the sun to make it dry? Yes. When you do the oregano, you cut it like this. You tie and leave on the sun, and you leave it dry. One time it's dry, you take a pair of gloves, and you put it someplace again, you know, lose everything, and you... You start to do like this, but you gotta use only the flour, the oregano, the flour, not the leaves. This is only flour I use. 
if the flower, the oregano, what you gotta pick it up, one of the exceed the oregano come with the white flower on the top. One of the white flower out, you pick it up with the oregano and you leave it dry. And one time it's dry, you do like this, and if you gotta make a shoe, okay, you know, got a no little stick inside. And I want to show what I was used to do this. I also put inside over here, and what you do, you do like that, and everything it come out a nice oregano. It's why it come out really, really. And the smell is so strong of oregano. Okay. Can do right. this? Now. Well, what do you need here and don't need? I need everything. You want to show on the camera too, the, the stuff I was made by myself. But this, this, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, go ahead. Put it any place you want. Do you need all these dishes and stuff? Yes. I don't know. Maybe we know use this dish, Shayna. Don't you want you want to use this for the olives? Okay, take out. <laughs> okay, uh, this this is the only uh, olives. I know and I was make. I was buy. Yeah, I was buy. Look at this a big jar. I was buy this. And when I buy, I go buy the big one like this. It's taking me long time before we finish this. So there's a few more people in here. Just want to let you know that for some reason, YouTube is not allowing us to have comments enabled. I uh, can't figure out why, but at the bottom left of your screen, it says uh, click here to join the audience for this uh, hangout. If you click that, you can actually you know chat in there. Uh, so that's going to be the only way to do this. So sorry, it's, we can't figure it out. It's just something on YouTube's end. Okay, so... You can tell again what you make. Salute, but no, you know, show. Show what? I don't know. It's a little slow, slow this. It's not live. No? No. And now? So we can start. Uh, do a quick test, say something. Today we make Italian antipasto. Anti? Antipasto. Okay, sounds good. Uh, so, you need that? All this stuff? I want to show. Okay. Okay? Everything I want to show. When I start to have to prepare, we can take out. Maybe I need Cook a little bit. the light. cheese already, because we don't need. Yeah. <laughs> you can just show this after, though. You cut the cheese. Okay, let's cut another piece. All right. That's Parmesan. Pecorino. Pecorino. Pecorino Romano. How many pounds it was this I would buy? Twenty-five pounds. No, I'm on the camera. This is a 20, 25 pounds. The Pecorino. Is that right there? No. Oh, yeah. This is a twenty-five pounds. I got everything in the refrigerator already. Um, a vacuum, it can stay long, long time. What kind of vacuum did you use? A vacuum clean. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so uh, you need this dish and all this stuff? This dish I need for the antipasto. This one? And here? this dish I need all of the pepper, the uh, jardiniera. All these little things here? This little thing, you know, we take out the top. Take out. This I want to use for the olive. Hmm? Okay. These things too. Yeah, I got this. So, hey, Pumba. So that's from this. Stuff? Yeah, this I prepared everything at the show. Everything what it is. Hey, chef, with the mushroom, can they be cooked with sauce? Yes, I did it one time with uh, the pasta. I did it with a pen. What you do, you make a sauce, make sure this this mushroom, you gotta cook a little bit more, like the the white mushroom, the shiitake mushroom, 
This mushroom, it's a little hard to cook. But one time you cook, you can make it with a marinara sauce as you like. It's really, really good, the mushroom. Like I said, now you go in the woods and you got a big tree, the oak tree. Look around on the ground, around the tree, maybe you find. Over here in New Jersey, this is selling a store that's really expensive. I was a fine lot, and now I got it. I don't want to go in the woods and pick up more. I got enough. I got like maybe 10 or 12 jars like this, the mushroom. I got it. And I don't want to go pick up more this year. Okay. Nah. Hen of the woods. You call it this mushroom. Oh, I see. I started to speak English now. Ooh, end of the woods. <laughs> you see, the woods, it's in the nel bosco si trovano questi, questi funghi. All right, start off with the wine. Okay. Okay, ready? All right, ready, set, go. Hello, everybody. Tonight, we yeah. start. I said to you, Bon Jovi. And you look here. Okay. <laughs> All right, ready, set, go. Buongiorno, everybody. A tutti. Oh, you want to do it again? <laughs> All right, ready, set, go. Buongiorno a tutti. Stasera incominciamo a fare un antipasto. Ed incominciare, incominciare facciamo un bel bicchiere di vino e un po' di formaggio. E alla salute a tutti. Tonight we start with the wine e cheese. E I want to say chin chin e salute to everybody. Ah. You see? With the wine, the cheese, it goes really good. Okay. Tonight, I want to show everybody the mega antipasto for time scale or for Christmas. And we start with the, this was the sopersata, capocol, prosciutto, mortadella. This is a coppola. I got a pecorino cheese. I got a trim a kind of the house over here. I prepare already with the crush, hot pepper, a oregano, a little oil. I got my homemade giardiniera. This is roast pepper. I prepare by myself. And look over here, I mean, I got over here too. I got a mushroom. This mushroom I picked up in the woods a couple of years ago, and I prepare it by myself. In this mushroom we call it end of the woods. And I prepare you boil and you prepare everything together. I got over here eggplant. You slice like a French fry, you boil, you cloth, you squeeze good, and you prepare with a hot pepper, oregano, and oil. This is my jardiniera. And I prepare this to everything together and you mix and you got a boil. For, no, this one it's raw. I'm not boil. This it's raw. I put water, a, a, a vinegar, a salt. You leave it stay for 24 hours after you drain and you prepare. I got the artichoke over here. I was buy, I clean, boil, and I prepare it by myself and I put it in a jar. This is all make a sausage. And I prepare the sausage, when it dry, I put it inside the oil. And this is the pecorino cheese. Now, for start, we start with all this I got over here. And I prepare this on this dish, okay? And we start with the olive. And we use this over here, like that. 
Okay, it's one. We we'll put it right over here. Now, I got the jardiniera, and we start the, the jardiniera. I want to put it right over here, like this. Okay. Larry said, also, Chef, I truly appreciate your videos. You remind me of my grandfather from Castel, Castel Vatrano. God bless you and thank you. Grazie tanto. Eh, speriamo che tu parli un po' italiano, così, ma non ci possiamo sentire. A Opie che speak Italia, eh, che provincia viene del paese? Io sono della provincia di Foggia. Do you know where that's at? Castel Vatrano? Castel Mare? Castel Vatrano? Where? What is that? I don't know. Castel Vatrano? Right here. Huh? Oh. Castel? No. Non so che di che provincia. Speaks in English. Huh? Speaks in English. I don't know what, what city it come. You see, I'm the, like New Jersey. If Italy, I'm a Foggia. Maybe your parents come from Naples, Benevento, Avellino. Maybe for Foggia, but I'm not, I'm not sure that the city, what you call over there. <coughs> oh, Castel Vetrano. What? Castel Vetrano. I just said that. Yeah, yeah, but I don't know. I think it's a it's a Foggia too, Castel Vetrano. Well, it looks like it's Sicily. Where? It's in Sicily. Yeah. Oh. All right. So. <coughs> All right. So okay. What's, what's the next part? So okay. now you that. Yeah. All right. Wait. Now, Ready. Set. Go. Okay. Now we put it over here. The artichoke. We put it next to the jardiniera. Look at oil, look at nice oil. Ooh. Now we got over here the eggplant. Good. Now the mushroom. Look at nice dish. It's a pepper. Do you have some parts here? Extra? No. Tomato? No. Now the pepper, we put it right over here, Chicken. On this side over here. All right. Ready, set, go. Okay. And this is the roasted pepper. You know, it's more easy to do. This up here outside on the barbecue, the roasted pepper. Okay. Now, this is everything done, but I want to put a little oregano, because oregano gives a really, really good smell for everything. Okay, and now this is ready to go with the olive over here, okay? Now it's time to prepare all the salami and cheese, everything. Now start. You think of the cheese it's not for Jeremy? Yeah. I put on the middle. Eddie said, uh, I love your videos. I wish I could be over for dinner. Said, Come. Come. We need a lot of help. We got a lot of food here. We got a lot of food. We got to eat it on the pasta. I have to make. Pasta with zucchini, with a little marinara sauce. All right. Okay. So next is cheese and yeah. meat. Salute. Ah, really good. Oh, so good. Bomba. 
Qua a Uvin se ne va su su. Alright, okay, now. So what are you starting with first, the cheese? We put the cheese, maybe let's start with the, this. All the, the meats? Capocuolo. Okay, ready? No, this is the coppola. We start with coppola. Right, keep it down there. Huh? Keep it down there. All right, ready, set, go. Okay, let's put a coppola. Yeah, I like the roll a little bit like this, see? We roll like this, everybody, it can take like that. Look how beautiful. Eddie said, ching, ching. Ching, ching, salute. <laughs> Okay, now we was to put this uh, now the coppola. Now we put this gentlemen. Okay, ready, set, go. Now we put the super sad. The super sad, we do the same way like this. And after, see, you need more. You can put more. Okay, I think it's not. I got a lot of stuff for the put around. Okay, and this. For those of you that just joined, the comments do not work for some reason. We can't figure it out. I don't know why YouTube is being really annoying. But at the bottom left of your screen, there's a link that you can click in the video and you can ask questions there or leave comments. Uh, so that's gonna be the only way to chat right now. Sorry. Okay, we put this, all right? Yeah. Okay, this is the super sad. Yeah, how many are you gonna do? Four? Four pieces or yeah. five? Yeah, and now I put this to a Jeremy. Yeah, when you do the third one, I'll start recording. Just saying this is the uh Abby said, Oh yeah, baby, you make me so hungry. Can't wait yeah. to make this myself. This is for you. Okay. Which, which one is this? This is the capicolo. All right, ready, set, go. This is the capicolo. Okay. We gotta put it there. Okay, now, now we put the, the pursuit. Okay, Jim. Yeah, just do it all already, because I don't need to show everything. <laughs> okay, let's get out of the pursuit. We got the plastic thing over here. Gabagoo, like the Sopranos.
Deepthi said, Jeremy, thanks for making these awesome videos. And Chef, thanks for being a rock star. You heard that? Thank you very much. Molte, molte grazie a tutti. Salute and ching ching to you, Chef. Oh, okay, wait, I gotta do ching ching. Every, every time somebody says ching ching, he takes a drink. Salute a tutti. Questo win è proprio buono, è un vino secco. And the cheese is good. E il formaggio è molto duro <laughs> e va molto bene con il vino. Really good with the wine. Duro. Um, pineapple, pineapple painter said, Chef Pasquale, what was Capicolo called in your dialetto? Well, you want to see the dialect? A lot of time with my friend, they were thinking, he said, Hey, Pasquale, who did I go to book the Capicolo? We was called Ucapicolo. Ucapicolo, it's the Capicolo. But we was called, hey, Pasqua, who did I go to book the Capicolo? I say, yeah, who did I go to Capicolo? Capicolo, it's we was a dialect we call Ucapicolo. All right. Uh, Toby's third attempt said, of all the jobs you ever had, Chef Pasquale, what was your favorite job? <laughs> you asked me what job I got. I got so many jobs. I, I do everything. What's your favorite? My favorite? Yeah. Well, I, I don't know. <laughs> I got everything. I, 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 I'm cook. I'm happy to cook. I got everything. I can do floor, wax, everything. You ask I, which is your favorite one? If you only had to do one. I like it darker. I like a garden already in my garden. I planted for the winter time. I got the, the cylinder already. It's like this. The parsley. I got a rook that can pick up every day. I got, every, I got the base growing in my place. Outside. I cover it with the fiberglass stuff. It grows so nice. I got all the winter time. <laughs> and I like to cook. I was in Italy, in Torino. It's the best place. I'll never forget yet, the Torino. For me, it was beautiful. Torino, beautiful, beautiful city. Okay, now. More questions? Yeah. <laughs> Um, what about mortadella bacon served here with pistachio? Now, I got the mortadella over here. I was go by today. I say, I like a mortadella with a pistachio. Pist oh, yeah, <laughs> pistachio. pistachio. It's Italian in English. You can say pistachio, pistachio, pistachio. Pistacchio. I'm going to tell you how to put it. Okay. Okay, C. Freeman said, Hi, Chef. Looks good. What are you making for Thanksgiving? This is Abigail, Caroline, and Elena from Georgia. You sang for us last time. We're watching again. Yeah. For Thanksgiving, my niece, she invited me. But... I gotta make something too, you know. I don't want to go with that, with the hands in the park. You walk in, you sit, you eat, you drink this and that. I gotta make something. I make I don't know. Maybe I can make uh, eggplant parmesan or lasagna. Some I gotta make something. Kids like like uh, lasagna. Lasagna, the kids, she got, a, she got a two kids, a, a, another one, another nephew, me. A, you know, everybody likes lasagna. Hey, I got to make lasagna. 
Okay, so this next one is by Avi. The remember him? I used to work with him at the That's other job. Right. Yeah, he said, "I miss you, Jeremy, and your beautiful mustache. Glad you're back to cooking, Pasquale. I've missed these videos." <laughs> What's up, Avi? How's it going? <laughs> So when you come for oyster? <laughs> no, oh, it's that. It's no, that no, one? no, that's somebody else. Oh, the other one. <laughs> oh, the other one, what do you call me? Why you want to see the mustache? I got a mustache <laughs> mortadella. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Jeremy, you gotta show this other uh, mic or what? Just, just do it because when it's done, I'll just show it. Yeah. Um. Uh, uh, Vibe of Torino has a good football team. Do you support them, Chef? I like Torino, but for me, when I was in Torino, I was for the Juventus. But this is the Juventus, so you remember, long, long time ago, when he was Omar Sigori, Boniperti, and Ray Charles. Ray and Mor Moroni. Moroni yeah. was called a thing. Yeah. yeah. Who's Ray Charles? Ray yeah. He Is was a good, good football player, Ray Charles. Let's double check that. You know how tall he was? <laughs> like this. He's not the guy he's sick. No. He, he, he was one. Uh, what's the name? Sivori. Okay. Sivori, he was a really small guy. Omar Sivori. Boniperta. He was a he was a really good play too. He was for the Juventus. Wait, what team was Ray Charles Charles on? Uh, uh, Juventus. He was coming into the restaurant where I was work <laughs> in uh, Rivarola Canavese. He was a, for the he was a called a Retiro. Retiro. It's one of the all the, the people who play. He was a good hotel. <coughs> no, 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 not this. That's the no, only, that's the only person Charles. that comes up. He, no, he was uh, uh, the sack sack game. He was a, the, the, <laughs> no, is this. it a different name? Maybe it's not. No, Ray Charles. You, I remember he was Charles. John Charles. Well, I don't know the, the but he was like this. He right, was, his last name was Charles. His first name wasn't Ray though. <laughs> but come out. I just showed you who came up. No, 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 no. <laughs> Um, there was a comment before that said that the whistling was very impressive, but I don't see it anymore. Okay, so the next one is by Pineapple Painter. Chef, does this Jeremy realize how lucky he is to grow up with you? I grew up in Ireland. My mother took good food, boiled all color and taste out of it. Then we ate it. <laughs> you don't know nothing. You know, people of today, let me say something. People today are born with a silver spoon. Not a gold you see, spoon. You see, well, both. <laughs> you see, me, Anna was born with this. Okay, now I gotta put a little my own make sausage. I forgot to put. Look, look at Zazich. This is Zazich. I'm made by myself. Okay? Let me call this now. I think he means John Charles. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Go ahead. I, I, I told you the name is Charles, but not you. You show me something like a Pele. I don't know. John, this is the guy. <laughs> swinger. Ray Charles. Ray Charles. Like I said, this is the great <laughs> He was of England. That's it. I know he, England. English. <laughs> well, Re John Charles. Yeah, that sounds. Not John Travolta. <laughs> I didn't see that. Okay, um, Chef P, if you could only eat one meal and drink one drink for the rest of your life, what would it be? One dish, one recipe, and one drink for the rest of your life. Only that, every day. Lunch, breakfast, dinner. Oh, for breakfast, of uh, wine? <laughs> yeah. your, favorite, your favorite food or drink, you will have to eat. Every drink single food. day. Every day. I can, I can eat every day. Wow. <laughs> okay. This is your favorite food, panicol? Yeah, oh, panicol. So you eat that for breakfast, lunch, and yeah. dinner? I, I, I like the fish, fish, uh, uh, zuppa de pesh. A nice uh, glass of wine. 
I can eat every day. Every single day. Every single day. Pasta with fish. We the we the we the good bellows alarm is stuck while we a in the bits of one. Toby, uh Toby's third attempt. What would you eat every day? Um and what would you drink every day if that was you know, what's your favorite? <laughs> no, I'm asking him what ah. or her. Uh, do what do you, you like to eat? eat? Hey, hey there, Mr. Shirappa. Miss Shirappa, nice to see you there. <laughs> There's a camera on the back that you see. <laughs> Go say hi. No. Go. No. Come on. What did you say? Boy. I thought I said hello to, you know, Miss Shirappa. Say hello. She don't want to be on the camera. Take a fold all the other stuff and take the, all the papers out on it. No, Jeremy, it's it. Pascal, do you think the, the other piece? What piece? No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't like going on camera. <laughs> Come back. Hmm? All right, yeah. I, I'm done. What, what do you think, Jeremy? <laughs> Lasagna with chips and ketchup drink is Coca Cola. That's what they would eat every day. Yeah? Lasagna with chips and ketchup and, um. and Coca Cola. Not the chap. Why? This is somebody else, not you. Oh. No, that's what they would eat every day. Lasagna with potato chips with ketchup yeah. and Coca-Cola. Mm -hmm. I like lasagna, chip, a glass of wine. <laughs> no ketchup? No ketchup. Bella Bella. Tony says that. How much more stuff are you going to put in here? What do you look for, Jeremy? Hmm? Here we go. Say hi to the camera. Okay, hello everybody and goodbye. I'll see you next time. You got it. You only see the pie's head. Uh, you big head over there. Uh, you, you got it? What time you got? Tomorrow. Okay, see you. Bye-bye everybody. Have fun everybody. Alright, bye. Bye. Um, Abby said, hey, chef, what is your favorite ingredient? Something you can add to all of your dishes if you could. One ingredient like, uh, you know, salt or black pepper or basil. I like oregano and I like my oye baby. My oye baby, it's the hot pepper. The hot pepper gives a good taste for the food, but not too much. A you know, you gotta be tested good. Okay, this this next one is good. By Eddie. He said, Do you even consider eating fast food? You know you know what he's saying? Fast like, food? Yeah, do you ever think about going to like McDonald's or Burger King or Yeah. You know? The first food for me, a lot of time I go outside. I said to my wife, I go outside a little bit. You know what I do? I run right away to go buy the fast food, you know, hot dog on the street, the hamburg, everything, you know, is so good. You believe me? I never was eating this stuff. I eat the stuff I cook at home. I don't like to go eat the restaurant. I don't like to go to McDonald's. I don't uh, Burger, Burger King. Burger King. Burger King. Book, book, <laughs> book king. Uh, I like it at home. So I want something at home. You see the sausage? This is fast food. Nah. No, I mean, it's fast food. It's good, though. See this? You want to show you the prosciutto I buy? No. You want to show you? Okay. Like this. <laughs> I chop it by myself. Okay? This is the sausage. I wasn't made by myself. Yeah, the mortadella was bad, 
But this is not called the fast food. The fast food, that's when you go to Midano, you buy a stuff over there, you don't know what it gives you. No. Okay? I like buy, I want to cook by myself for the stuff. I don't like to buy already, no. I like to cook by myself, everything. All right. Um, pineapple painter. Do you ever put bruschetta with antipasta? Let me show you something. I got it already. You see this? This is a ciabatta, and we gotta make put in the oven, little oil, garlic, and we got the plum tomato, we gotta chop with a little cilantro, and we use this for the bruschetta. And this we was buy today, fresh bread. He was put in the oven for me, the table home. Chef, do you like Indian food? Just like you, we also use many spices and so much Oya oh yeah, baby. Indian? I want to tell you the truth. I never was eat, and I never was a taste. I don't know the taste of the Indian food. That's good. That's true. I never was eat Indian food. Uh, I don't know. I like it. Avi, which commented before, uh, brought some in. Tasted it. We also went to some restaurants in California. Pretty good. I like her. Okay. I, I, I love spicy food. Good. Uh, what was, so this is from a long, I don't even, I just found more comments somewhere. <laughs> what was on the first platter where you sprinkled fresh made oregano? So just explain what was on here again. Okay, I got over here eggplant. This is it's all make eggplant, artichoke, uh, jardiniera, roasted pepper, and mushroom. This it's everything I make by myself, and I got everything over here in the jar. Like I said before. See, you go in the woods, you got a lot of big tree, the hawk tree. Look around the tree. Can you find this kind of the mushroom? Can you, what you do, you boil with the water and vinegar. One time you know the taste gets good for you. You take it out, you squeeze, take all the water and vinegar out, and you prepare it with a hot pepper oil, and oregano, a garlic. Put, make sure to put a lot of garlic and hot pepper. If this mushroom we call it hand of the woods. Hand of the woods. This mushroom, it come, it can be like big, like the, you know the hair, it's all like this, all together. It come like me can be like maybe twenty five pound, or thirty pound, or ten pound. It's really good. Avi said, uh, "I got to run, but Jeremy, let's do a Pasquale eats Indian food episode. You want to do that? India? Yeah, Avi, are you going to cook it? <laughs> You're still in Jersey, right? Well, maybe one day we make the recipe the Indian food. What do you think, Jeremy? Yeah, that sounds good. Just give us some recommendations on something to try." Okay, you ask what kind of the dish you like, uh, you let me know, and maybe we make, and let's uh, see, some make the same like you was to eat the restaurant. That sounds like a great idea. Um, I love you, Chef, from Canada. I was in Canada, and I was to go eat to some place over there, the Italian restaurant. It was really good in Canada. We was uh, go to Toronto for three days. We was uh, go me and my wife. And wait, me, my wife, my brother-in-law, sister-in-law, and my son. We was uh, go together. We was uh, go over there for three days. It was uh, really good. Went to Niagara Falls. 
Yeah. Ah, some more excellent food. Ching ching. <laughs> In case you guys didn't realize, uh, the, the key word for him to drink his wine is ching ching. <laughs> Um, Henry Guild said, oh, uh, good day, guys. Good to see you're passionate about cooking. It's nice to watch. Reminds me of my grandpa. He was Greek, though, who passed in the last few months. Um, Have a good day, guys. I'm really sorry. Okay, everybody like, the, you know, the, the, the father, the grandfather, grandma, what it is. But everybody miss the, old, the, 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 the really the family. In the grandpa, especially grandpa and grandma, everybody makes this. And he's from Australia. Jesper said, uh, greetings from Sweden, Chef Pasquale. I love watching your videos. As a young student, your videos make my life easier when cooking. It's good, but I, now, I don't know. So you go to school for cook or you not go to school to cook. This, I don't know. But I want to tell you something from my experience. So you want to learn really, really good the cook. Find some restaurant. You need somebody to help. Go. Go help over there at the restaurant. And make sure the look, everything the chef he do. And while you work for the restaurant, you got to wash dish for start cooking the kitchen. That's what I was doing. I was a wash dish for three years. And after that, I was assistant chef. After assistant chef, you come a chef. But when you do like this, you see this knife? Okay? You go to school, it not teach you with a knife, the core, everything you got to core. But when you work in a restaurant, you you look and you learn the chef he told you everything what he got to do. The school, he never showed you when you chop something, the put the finger the way you're supposed to put the finger. Remember, you never got to chop the finger. Put the finger like this, I show you. Like this. And you cut the knife like that. Like this, you never chop your finger. You can chop a little piece over here on the top, but not the finger. Okay? Make sure the knife like this. Are you, is, this is like pretty much done, right? Yeah, everything is done. So there's like a few more questions and then we'll just wrap this video. Clean up and we'll go. Yeah. Okay, so Abby said, uh, you should go out and try different foods from different cultures. Record it and give us your opinion. Maybe it can influence your dishes. Try different, like, foods from different places, Indian food, Japanese. Well, we Santa. was a try, you know, like uh, Polish food we did. It's on, the, on the my channel on YouTube. We try Italian food, American food. Vietnamese, uh, we did Vietnamese. We did Vietnamese. Vietnamese, and we did uh, Portuguese, Spanish, Spanish, Colombian, uh, Colombia. We did uh, some different dish, but everybody know I'm I'm so Italian. I'm Italian, you know. Do the other dish. Somebody said to me, "Yeah, but this is not your recipe." Why people you gotta uh, send me know that this is not your recipe? Everybody cook something you cook, right? It's your recipe. No, it's not your recipe. You look and you make try to do what you can do the best for you. But when I make something a recipe, I look, I make a different. The show that everybody the easy way to make the recipe. Cause when you look at the recipe, it's so hard. If somebody yes, he told me, he said, Pasquale, you show the recipe, it's so easy. When you look on a paper, on a book, or somebody's chef on a TV, this and that, it's so hard. We don't understand what's going on. But with me, everybody happy, I show step by step 
what it got to be done. Awesome. Uh, Pineapple Painter said, uh, the best food nations are France, Japan, Vietnam. But let's be honest, Italian food is the best on earth. It's not even a contest. <laughs> Why, you don't like the Italian food? <laughs> no. Huh? No, they said the best food in the world is like from France, Japan, Vietnam. But he's saying um, the best food on earth is Italian. <laughs> well, Italian food, it's good food. Say Italy, you gotta. So you let's say you go in Italy, and you gotta visit the Italy. You go South Italy. It's what I come from. Yeah. The food it tastes different. The middle of the Italy, middle of the Italy, it's wrong. After North Italy, it's different. When I was working, it was in North Italy, and I was with the people of Tuscany. The people I was working, the owner of the restaurant, it was in Tuscany. And I was working with, he called it Piemontese. Piemontese, it's Piemonte, the Torino. It's a river roller canavese I was working. You see, each place, he got the taste different. It's each region. Okay? South, he used a lot of hot stuff, spice. Fish? Yeah. North, he used like a little bit more sweet. It's all different. Like France, he used a lot of cream, a lot of white stuff, like bechamel, all this stuff. Torino, he was used bechamel too. I was working with bechamel, lasagna with bechamel, everything. Tony said Cutco's, Cutco chef's knife, beauty. It's nice. Nice and knife. Look at this. So beauty. Cut your it's, fingers with beauty. It's nice. <laughs> uh, Deepti said, then we will cook for you the Indian food. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Okay, I like it to see. And then Avi wrote back and said, uh, he moved back to Somerset, which is in New Jersey, and I'll send you a family recipe. It has coconut and a lot of oh, yeah, baby pepper. Oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> I got a lot of oh, yeah, baby. So, yeah, we'll definitely look forward to that. Um, Toby's third attempt said, just to let you both know, discovered this channel about a month ago, cooked your homemade meatballs and the stuffed chicken breast dish for my mom and dad, and they loved it, and I love your channel. Thank you very much. Everybody, I hope it, you know, this is a total more people. <laughs> like this, when I cook like today, and you subscribe to me, I, you know, when you subscribe, the channel, when I cook, it comes straight to you. To all the people, subscribe for me. I'm a really good guy. <laughs> okay? Thank you very much. Can you spell subscribe? No, not subscribe. Okay. I, 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 wait. I write. Let me write in Italian. <laughs> I want to write in Italian. Subscribe. Wait a minute. <laughs> You have. Oh, see, I'm drunk. <laughs> <laughs> you have just convinced me to have Italian food for dinner today. Salute. <laughs> so. So. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Okay. How, did you, how did you spell? Okay. Write it down. This is for me. Subscribe. S U S C R. A I B. I that's did it right? Yeah, that's right. No. Yeah. Where? <laughs> yeah. That's what it's spelled? No. Look, subscribe. I don't know what that is. S C U I mean if you, S C R A I B. If you sound it out, it looks like it, it's right. It's a subscribe. <laughs> okay. Okay, so let's finish this. Uh, okay. Can you, just, can you just get rid of everything you don't need? All right. Let's take it out of this separate thing. You don't need this, right? This out. Okay. All the jardinier out. You don't need no more to show this, right? No. Okay. Uh, this is a little possible. F, you gotta take a picture, Jeremy? Well, no. Uh, and then, oh, she put it already. Yeah, it's already on. Okay, already done. Okay. Uh, you know, <laughs> can you do this? Whoop.
Wow. Do you want more wine? Wait, this underneath this, right? I don't think so. Okay. You're this, not gonna okay. unless you pick it up. I don't know. No, no. The bread, you know, Nate. <laughs> huh? The bread. I don't know. Are you gonna make that thing? Are you gonna make the? Uh, you want? No, nah, it's too no. much. Uh, Abby said, "I'm glad Cox and Crendor talked about you. I love these videos. You remember who they are? Who? The Goathead cartoon. Oh." I guess that person watched their videos and found your video. <laughs> go hey. You got the, the go hey. You split the head and a head. You open up the head. <laughs> now, the Let tongue on one side, and this on the other side. Now you cook everything. One time it's a cook the go head. What do you do? You spice everything. You take the tongue, you pull out. Okay. It's graphic. Yeah, you pull the tongue out and you start, oh, so delicious. Hold on one second. Split the head. And I have. Let me see if I can do something. <laughs> Thankfully, Chef doesn't cook like he spells. <laughs> uh, no, I'm spelling really good. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on a second. So uh, Abby is talking about this video that um, that this YouTube channel put together. I'm going to see if I could share it here. Just one second. Ah, crap. No. Wait, I think I got it. I'm just not sure. Please, Chef doesn't cook like it smells. <laughs> Uh, I'm spelling really good. <laughs> Hold on a second. So uh, Abby is talking about this video that um, that this YouTube channel put together. I'm gonna see if I can share it here. Just one second. Ah, crap. I'm not sure if it's working. No. Wait, I think I got it. I'm just not sure. Please, chef doesn't cook like his nose. Okay, yeah, this is it. Uh, I've never watched these chefs on YouTube. <laughs> and they're all real. Uh, okay. Wait, it's playing now. But you know, hey, I know. It's just But the people that hear this? I think so, yeah. I hope so. Or else it's just wasting time. You can ask us if it or not. Well, it's almost done, so I'll just. <laughs> it's so good. Okay, we're back. I don't know if you guys heard that. I'm not sure if I got the audio working, but they did a, a video on my dad cooking his goat head video, and they thought it was hilarious. And they actually, <laughs> and they actually, um, my dad commented on the video, and they actually replied back. So it was pretty cool, and they're uh, pretty big. So yeah. Uh, so thankfully, chef doesn't cook like he spells. I said that before. Okay. Uh, what do you want from me? <laughs> um, chef, do a big porchetta sometime, please. It's the best. Well, one day maybe we gotta try the porchetta. What is that? Oh, my, oh pork. It's hilarious. Pig. Pig? Pork. Porchetta. But it's like, how is it cooked? Like? Yeah, I mean, uh, I'm a barbecue, you know. Rotorcy, rotorcy, rotorcy. Spin, turning, yeah. Huh? Okay, so yeah, it's pretty much done. Keep is all this stuff. Oh, oh this you got people over here. Okay, the bread we take out. Yeah. No, maybe we we'll leave over here. This is. Well, yeah, you can dip it, I guess. 
Yeah, we live over here. The glass we fed her out to be over here. Where's the wine at? No more. The bottle that's over here already. Oh, this one? Yeah. Not too much. The cheese I take out of the tub? Yeah. And I guess you want to put like two picks? Yeah. Right? Yeah, that's it. Well, I'm just going to cut a few slices of bread. You want? Just cut like two. And then you can get rid of it. Cut it? Yeah. Q-tips. I mean, no. two picks. No, they put a little bit. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, that's the best. All right, so I'm going to go like this with the camera. It was my one. Okay. Oh. Okay. Okay, um, ready, set, go. Okay, that, this is all cold and the pasta. And like I said before, eggplant, mushroom, roasted pepper, giardiniera, artichoke, I got over here, and I got the hours. This is everything together. And I got the capicola, the prosciutto, a little prosciutto, and the mortadella, a sausage, and the, provo and the pecorino cheese. Now, this, the taste, I want to put a little prosciutto, because I love the prosciutto. Yeah, I put it right over here. And you can put a little egg play over here. And you can put it right on the top. Here we mm. A really good. I hope everybody make this for Thanksgiving or for Christmas. It's a good dish. And you got everything. It's really good. I want to say to everybody. Before Thanksgiving, happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Salute, chin chin, everybody. I hope everybody like what I prepared tonight. Thank you very much. I'll see your next recipe. Thank you. Salute. Awesome. So Larry said, uh, hi, chef, it's in Sicily, so. Remember when we looked before? Mm -hmm. So it's Sicily. Do you want to test something? Just get a picture. Bread, no? No. He said, no, chef, I can't speak Italian. I know just a few phrases. What you said, I'm sure it was heartwarming before when you were talking about, you know, Sicily. <clears throat> he doesn't understand Italian, but he said, I'm sure whatever you said was good. Thanks, Chef and Jeremy. You're welcome. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's fun reading all your comments and getting the Funny answers my dad has. <laughs> do the nay nay. What do you put? <laughs> That's it. <laughs> nay, 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 nay. Now watch me win. <laughs> You're watching me. I'm watching you. 
<laughs> nah, 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 nah. Are we gonna watch you guys eat it all now? I'm so jealous. I'm drinking me. <laughs> and I'm drinking you. <laughs> what does that mean? Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> Uh, mm. All right, let's eat this. Huh? Where's the mic? She left? Yeah, she left. I'll get two dishes. Here, my mic should be better for the pasta. You want the pasta? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. What kind of pasta you want? Pain, man? Yeah, that sounds good. Huh? Sounds good to me. See what they got here. Mushrooms. I don't like roasted peppers too much, but I'll grab one. Yeah, no, I'll cook the pasta only for you, okay? Okay. Eggplant. You want that you want that extra pasta to take it home? Uh yeah. I think that's it. <laughs> Let's see if it's as good as he says it is. I can't even pick it up. The sausage is like really tough. It's soft, yeah. It's really dry. Mm -hmm. So far, so good. The Japanese. Oh, yeah. And the middle. You see what I got over here? You can't see it that good. No? I got a shiitake mushroom. Bring it here. No, it's ango. Yeah, it was tired. Very chewy. The sausage. But delicious. Yeah. This is the one you made last year mm. on the fire outside. You're gonna make me choke. Well, what up? <laughs> said, you don't like roasted peppers? <laughs> no, it's I don't like sweet peppers too much. I love hot pepper. You know why you don't like? Because the price is good. Where's my wine? Go get it. <laughs> Hold on. Let me go get the the pasta. Okay. I gotta go to the basement. Here's my wine. Huh? None. There's not much left. Cheers. Just want to let you guys know now that uh, my dad's downstairs and he's not here. Uh, you know, when you guys leave comments and stuff, it like literally makes his day. He, we don't respond back to many comments, but I got to tell you, he reads every single one and he definitely appreciates it. So. Thanks a lot, guys. It really means a lot. He's got more wine coming. <laughs> We gotta finish this one tonight. Yeah, why not? Remember this pasta? Got that uh um, mal mal um mal 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 m
as we've got the macaroni product, simoline. What is it called? I tell you, I tell you, mafaldina. Yeah, mafaldina. You want me to open this one? I'll open it. Salute and ching ching. Cheers, guys. Cheers, pal. Here, do the bottle. <laughs> chef, chef, my grandfather would always whistle while, while cooking and sing a gum, gum body. What is that? Oh my god. Pop, 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 who sucks so far? Oh, Rish Karia, para babunzi, bunzi, ba. Egum bara, que sai sonana, sai sonana, o violina. E como se sona, o violina. Zi, 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 o violina, pop, 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 who sucks so far? Oh, Rish Karia, para babunzi, bunzi, ba. Che sai sonana, sai sonana la batteria, e come se sona la batteria, la batteria, zi zi zi, lui io lì, po 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 po, lo saxofono, un riscario, para ba bon zi bon zi ba. What do you think you like that? There's a lot more comments. Uh, da, 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 da. Why do I feel all this wonderful food is a cover to have washed down with a delicious, <laughs> delicious wine? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, I mean, uh, <laughs> you need delicious some some food to look at while you drink your wine, and occasionally pick at. Salute and Ching Ching from Deepti. I hope I'm pronouncing your name correctly. Deepti. What's the name? Deepti. 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 Yeah. Deepti. Salute a tutti chef. Salute a tutti chef. A tutti frutti. <laughs> um, have you ever cooked a bad meal? Maybe when you were learning to cook? Yeah. Really bad. When I come in, I was in Italy. I was a cook. When somebody got married, we was a make this antipasto. When I come in America, I was a work at the restaurant, and I was a cook for the owner of the restaurant, and the wife, the you know, the, my boss. But nobody was to know what it was. I cook. I put in a dish. I put on the table. My boss, the wife, she come in and she said, Pasquale, I can have one of this? I said, sure, I cook for everybody, take. Mm -hmm. She said, oh, this veal is so good. The veal? Yeah, the veal. It's like a veal, a veal with a, a Milanese, like a little breadcrumb, my eggs I was make. It was a nice run. I put on a dish over there. Anybody was to work over there. 
Five minutes, the, the dish was gone. Everybody saying, oh boy, Pasquale made something so delicious. Go, 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 go there, go get it. After the dish was finished, my boss, he told the wife, the name, uh, I don't want to say the name, but he told, he said, you know what Pasquale was a cook for everybody? And she said, no, he was a horse. Oh. Wow, what he was a coglioni di cavalli. <laughs> and I was a cook of every bar, everybody was eating so delicious. After when we find that it was a horse ball, but this in Italy it's a really good store. When somebody get married, we was a make a fritto misto, he called fr uh, fry mix all the stuff and we was make shrimp calamari and we was put this together it was so it, i told you the truth it's delicious really good <laughs> but this is no bad uh, bad thing to cook this is a really delicacy in italy it's a really good stuff i think what they were trying to say was if you ever cooked something and it came out bad like it didn't taste good but that's the good for you, like you didn't like it. I mean, I don't know. I want to say that through. I don't know. You know, you gotta make a sugar. You, you know, you gotta test the good. The casino test the good. You gotta throw away. And you throw away money. Yeah. And you gotta make a sugar for cocaine. They're not throw away. Huh? All right. That is the correct way you are pronouncing my name. Awesome. What? Uh, yeah. Deep D, remember? They said that that's the correct way. Yeah, Deep D. <laughs> the water boy. The water boy. <laughs> okay. Deep D said, uh, haha, you are an excellent singer and dancer too, just too entertaining all in all. <laughs> Abby said, High quality content right here. I wish I can drink wine with you guys. Salute. <laughs> I wish you'll be over here. We enjoy everybody. I don't know. Oh, you say one of the extra there. Yeah. Chef, when you were young, I think you were very poor. But what but was the food still very good always? Like did the food quality ever suffer? You understand it? Like Yeah. Let me put on the pasta. I told my poor story. Can nobody believe me? But this is the truth. I told everybody. We were born in Italy. He was 1939. Everybody, you know, 1939 I was born. And I remember like today, World War II, the American people in Germany war in Italy. It was a Foggia, bomb every single day in Foggia. That's like now, what, 40 kilometers away? It, but, yeah, but 35 kilometers, it's like maybe 30 miles away. Now, when we hear the sirena, it go, everybody was run and we was run away because someplace got a bomb it can do not. But forget about this. I was six or seven years old when he was called depression. Depression, he was not to the eat. I was seven years old. I remember like today, my father, he was a cook of bread, he was a make a sausage, a, a flour, only flour. He said, okay, Pasquale. You know what he called me, Pasquale. He was saying, Pasquale, take this bag and you got to go to the station. Station is the station where the train pass, they come, for Milan, Torino, France, he passed for Orsara. 
he ever go to Foggia or he ever go to Naples. And I was a good with a bag, maybe 15 or 20 kilo, no pound, a kilo. And my father was to say, when you go on a road, make sure cannot the police, it's on the road. So you see the police, he call it carabinieri. So you see the carabinieri run a different way on the woods, no leave nobody see you. Okay, you gotta go to the station because he see you, the carabinieri take everything out of you. Because this, you see, we was called con contraband, but this, you know, was contraband like a drug or this. This was food. You give food to the people, the not sell. drug, the the sell. sell. Now, when I was reaching the station over there, the train is stopped. And the people inside the train, he asked me, Katien, Katien. He said, What do you got? What do you got? And I was saying, Gavarin, it's a Ucikioban, a pasta, sausage, flour, bread, a pasta. And the people said, uh, uh, Give it to me the pasta, I'm a pasta, a pasta. He told how much this, how much that. Hey, you no. Know, and I was making the money. And I was go back. The my city, Dorsara. Now, when the way you gotta walk, I was walking to go back. And on the woods, you find branch, the tree broke, this and that. And what I was do, I pick it up, I tie with the string, I put it on my shoulder, and I was bring the city, Dorsara. When I reach over there, before. I reach my house. The people, he was to say, Pasquale, 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 uh, you want to sell this uh, branch, this and uh, that? I say, yeah. And I was a seller for 50 lire. 50 lire that time, it was like maybe 10 cents, 15 cents. And I was a carrier on my shoulder, like a uh, uh, about 50 pounds on my shoulder, I was a seller for 50 cents or, or 25 or 30 cents. That's the way I was to live. But we have to eat every day. Can we have a farm? But the food was the good ghost, when you got to see the little bit of meat, you got to wait the holiday on Sunday. And my mother, she was by the chicken or little pork, he give a little piece of the meat, a little piece over here, a little piece over there. Everybody was split a little bit. But we have food. But the food was good still. But right? the food, it was good. But every day you have to eat panagot, it's bread cooked with the water, bread with the wine, only in the morning, breakfast, bread and wine, eggs. Pasta beans, pasta cheche beans, pasta lambic, pasta chicoria, pasta broccoli, pasta everything. It's a pasta, pasta, pasta. On Sunday, somebody passed by in my street. They said, "Hey, oggi sono macaroni catata." Every day it's homemade pasta. On Sunday, we was to go buy the pasta, like a pen or spaghetti. Everybody said, oh, today it's holiday. On Sunday, can we buy the pasta? But it's like fresh pasta, right? No, the, the, the fresh pasta was for every day. But when you buy the, the pasta for the store, okay, it was dry like spaghetti or uh, this stuff. Everybody said, oh, today it's holiday. We buy the pasta. Oh, okay. So you didn't have to make it yourself. <laughs> but after when I was in 1957, I left my city, you know, have nothing to do. At the school, I graduation with a degree. I graduation 11 years old. See? I was 11 years old. What I was? I was a professor, a professor. I was a lawyer. 11 <laughs> years old. I graduation already. Read that comment there. Where? 
do you make your own tomato sauce? So, um, yes, I'm making my own tomato sauce. Look, I opened a one yesterday. I was making pizza. I think I got a little bit more left over. Uh, what do you want to do with this? Turn it on here or you want to put it in a little pot? It's done? No, this, the sauce. Wait, wait. I'll take, I'll take. You see, I, I wasn't making the, uh, the pizza. I got a little bit. Of, I got like maybe 100 jars in the basement. I was making this year, I was making like 75. And still, I got a sauce for two, no, about four years ago. This one, it's a four or five years years ago. I make and I put it in the basement. But make sure it's in a jar like this, seal it good. I make every year my sauce. Boy, nah. The past, what are you doing, Jeremy? It's good. It's not done yet. No? Jeremy, leave a cook. After I drain, I'll leave, a, I'll leave a little water in the pasta. Okay, I'll mix it together. And, you know, everything will be done. You want more bread? No? All right, so uh, what do you do? Dan, dan di pasta is good. Yeah, I eat a lot. What do you got to do with this? Now? I better cover. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Huh? We got a lot of di pasta over here. Yeah, we needed we needed some help to help us uh, finish this. Look at this. The regular, it's really good. Smell this. Yeah, it sounds good. Huh? Mm-hmm. The regular, it's really good. Look, I mean, I got it. Yum. All right. That's it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now what else? That's it. Or somebody else. So, reason. Remind me, what? Thank you very much. I know I'm an old guy. Everybody think I'm another age I got. But you figure out yourself how old I am, me. I'm born in 1939. I'm an old guy too, okay? I know everybody miss the grandfather, grandma, everybody miss, okay? He was a special people. Sabrina, what's the name? Saska. Sabrina. All right. That's it. Okay. Yep. Close. Yeah. Okay, just say goodbye. Yeah. Okay. Goodbye. And I'll see you next time. It's Anos baby. Happy Thanksgiving for everybody. You have a nice day today. It's a beautiful day over here. It's eighty eighty one degree over here in Long Branch, New Jersey. Okay, thank you again. You want to say with somebody else? Um, that is scary, Chef. We are soft compared to how your grand, your childhood was. Some say carbonara comes from World War II during the Allied occupation. Do you know when carbonara was first made? Sounds like eggs and guanciale weren't in abundance. When he was making the carbonara? We was eat pork every single day. I was go buy the guanciale over here. It cost the guanciale ten times more the pork chop. I'm not believer. In Italy, in my city, the guanciale, this is the, the chick, the pig, the head pig. He give it to you free over there a long time ago. Now I was a pay over here. I was a pay twenty two dollar a pound. I don't believe it. The guanjal, little piece. I was a pay almost thirty dollar to make the, the the pasta with the guanjal carbonara. Boy, it's so expensive the guanjal over here. I, I don't want, I, I don't know why. In Italy, no, nobody was one of the head, the big head, the the, the thing. In Italy, we was called a potturino, like the guanciale we, we dry, after we cut it, we eat with the bread. But over here, the guanciale, and plus, you know, fine. 
It's not easy to find, especially over here where I'm living with Josie in Long Branch. I'm not fine. No place. Okay, thank you very much, everybody. And I'll see you next. Let's see we do something. I hope everybody was enjoying tonight what I showed everybody. And thank you. Thank you very much. And I'll see you next time. Thank you.